Hello everyone, it's Miss Hodgson and today I wanted to share with you one of my favourite books in my library and it's from the Little People Big Dreams selection and this is all about a lady called Maria Montessori. This is a non-fiction book. It's all about a lady who lived about 150 years ago. She lived in Italy and she did some amazing things. Let's find out. Okay, so this is a non-fiction book, or I should say it's a story telling of a real person's life. So Maria Montessori lived in Italy in the Victorian times. And the blurb says, from an early age, Maria Montessori challenged the norm, studying science at an all-boys school. As an adult, she became the first female doctor in her country, specialising in the care of children. She went on to make important discoveries that completely changed the course of traditional education, setting up Montessori schools around the world. This inspiring story of the revolutionary doctor's life features a facts and photos section at the back. Now, one of the reasons that I love Maria Montessori is, as we just found out, she was at an all boys school, which is what I did when I did my A-levels. I went to a boys school to study science. And uh, also I trained to be a Montessori teacher when I was in my twenties, because I think she has some fabulous ideas about the way children learn. Anyway, let's find out a little bit more about her. Little Maria was born in Italy with an incredible will to learn. Her parents thought that one day she could become a great teacher. But her school was the most dull and boring place on earth. So Maria invented games to make learning more fun. When Maria finished primary school, she was eager to study science, but this was not encouraged for girls so she had to join an all-boys technical school. Maria decided to become a doctor. Despite all the obstacles in her way, she made it to university. She was the first girl in Italy to study medicine. She was not allowed to be in the same room as the other students when there was a body to examine and had to study it alone once the class was over. But Maria, didn't give up. Once she graduated, Maria became an assistant doctor in a mental health clinic where disabled children were treated as if they were sick. Their only toys were the breadcrumbs left from breakfast. So Maria decided to give the children love and respect as part of their treatment. She knew that in order to give their best, all the children needed was to believe in themselves. And she was right. By using games and fun activities, the children started to learn through play. Maria realised her idea could work with any child. She opened a school called the Children's House, where children became their own teachers and desks became small tables full of counting beads and puzzles. Maria was the first person to use cut out letters to teach children how to read. She told her pupils travel stories to make geography fun and insect tales to explain the natural world. She wrote many books and articles and traveled the world giving courses and lectures. She helped hundreds of other teachers to use her revolutionary method. Soon, models of the children's house sprang up all over the world. Many schools, orphanages and nurseries followed in her footsteps from Italy to America and India. Little Maria inspired children to be free, curious and responsible human beings, for the children of today are the makers of tomorrow. So here's a little bit of information about Maria Montessori, who she was. So she was born in 1870, she died in 1952. So this first picture says 1880. Maria Montessori was born in a town called Chiara Valley in Italy. That might be Chiara Valley, I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Soon after her parents moved to Rome, so Maria could go to a better school. At that time in Italy, there were very strict ideas about what boys and girls should study, and it was not thought that a girl should study science. 
but Maria was a trailblazer from the very beginning. She studied maths and science at an all-boys school. Then she decided to become a doctor. She was the first woman in Italy to go to medical school, so she had a lot of boundaries to break down in order to be treated equally. Maria studied hard and specialised in the care of children and mental health. As a newly qualified doctor, she became known for her support of women's rights and famous for her respect for patients from all backgrounds. She proved that women could become talented doctors, a revolutionary idea at that time. Maria's work then took her to a mental health hospital where she worked with children who had learning disabilities. She noticed that the children were deprived of toys and activities. She thought that if they received special education and care, they would start to flourish. She began to research and try out this idea with great results. The children started to learn. She then took it a step further. Maria proved that all children could become their own teachers if they were given engaging activities and freedom to explore. With her revolutionary ideas and respectful attitude, Maria transformed the education system. Even though she died in 1952, the legacy of her work continues today in Montessori schools around the world. So this picture here, I don't know if you can see, it looks like she's graduating in 1900. She's in her university gown. And here she is working with a child. And there she is in 1930. So although some of the things we've learnt about her we take for granted today, you can see how, at the time, her ideas were quite revolutionary and unusual. See what else you can find out about Maria Montessori. This series of books is called Little People, Big Dreams, and it's got all sorts of incredible people that you can find out about their lives. See if you can find one next time you go to the library. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to that story. And of course, as always, there are some activities in the box underneath the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the video so you know when the next videos are uploaded. Hope you're doing okay and hope to see you soon. Bye.